like to know more about you. Mm. Can you share with us your childhood story? I grew up in Sydney, in Australia. Uh, <clears throat> I went to a private school there, a boys' school. But I was more of a nerd than I was a sportsman. Nerd? <laughs> yes, yeah, an intellectual. Um, I get picked on by the bullies in the class. Right? Oh. And then I then became friends with one of the kids in the class whose nickname was Tank. Tank was twice the size of everybody else. No one ever touched me again. <laughs> So I've always believed in having a tank around, someone <laughs> to protect you, right? Where you are now, is that what you want to be then? Um, I originally wanted to be a surgeon. To be a surgeon? A brain surgeon. So what changed you? I realised I never Blood scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. go, I can work in Greece, I can't work in blood. So engineering was a similar thing. Okay. Working then... on machines rather than brains. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> similar kind of thing. It's, uh, doctors, brain surgeons, engineers, they're all doing a similar thing. They're fixing things. Okay. Right? They're building things. Okay. Right? So what's your key message for the children right now? Like, so many children, they don't know what they want. I think one of the most important things is it's got to be something you really like to do. Right? You've got to have some aptitude for it. It's no good trying to be something that you're no good at. Mm -hmm. right? Because whatever you go into, you'll be competing with other people. Yeah. Right, who are who are good? Mm -hmm. Right. If you want to get somewhere, you've got to be as good as or better than them. So it's really finding your passion. Finding your passion where you've got a talent for it. Yes. Right. If you haven't got a talent for it, don't waste your time. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. And here, here I think is one of the most important things. You, you've got, you've got to, you've got to find a niche, niche, something specific. Don't be too generalised. Don't cover too much. What's something you're good at? What's something that's needed? And I think, I think that what comes out of this is sort of in this history is that you, you can plan things, but the unexpected is more likely to happen. So you better be ready for it. Yes. Right? So as, as wide a, a, an experience as you can get, mm -hmm. as wide a knowledge as you can get, mm -hmm. is well worth having. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing is take a risk. Rest. Right? Yeah. It doesn't hurt to take a risk. The other thing that I have always believed very strongly is if, if you don't try, you don't succeed. <clears throat> Too many people say to me, oh, you can't do that. I say, no, don't even bother. I say, well, if I don't bother, I know I can't do it. But if I try, maybe I can't either. So I have lost nothing. I'm still where I was, but I might succeed. You'd be surprised how many times I've succeeded. What made you really stay in Philippines and you become a Filipino? Mm. I love other countries, certainly one of them. I mean, as, as you said, I've been here 41 years, right? That's longer than almost all Filipinos, yeah. certainly more than 70 yes. um, And I love it here, right? I've developed my relationships, my friends are here, yes. my counselors are here. You know, my life is here. Yeah. This is where I am. So do you think Philippines has the chance to be first world? First world is a long way off. But okay. second world, yes, very, very different. But, you know, these things don't happen overnight. We, we are improving. Philippines is better. But it's come a long way. Now, are you proud being from the Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I love this country. You love this country? Yes. What do you love the most about Filipinos and Filipinos? The people themselves. Right? Uh, they're, they're wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Very friendly, very complimenting, uh, uh, very kind. Mm -hmm. Why do you think investors um, invest in Philippines? The easy one is IT, the call IT, centers, right? Call which has been BBO, enormous, yes. enormously successful. Yes. Why? Because Filipinos speak American English, are gentle, understanding, and when you talk to them on the phone, you get good reaction, you feel the comfort. comfort. Cost is, is competitive from anywhere else. That's very important. Because yes. Business is all about cost. Cost is competitive. Uh, the, the, the Philippine the government has put in place and private sector, the communication systems, more or less. We need better, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, <coughs> we've got power, we need to have reliable power. We've got buildings, we've got developers, we've got office space to give you the office space, that's been done. So those things work. Right? How about agriculture? agriculture? Agriculture. This is a fertile country, good climate, plenty of sunshine, enough rain most of the time. If we put in the right irrigation systems, put in the roads, put in the support services, agriculture is in dismal shape. 
So what do you want from us Filipinos in order to be considered Philippines first world? Discipline in everything, right? Not just in traffic management, but in the way you think, the way you act, in, you know. Uh, and we have to have initiative. Initiative is not there. I, I've, I've employed thousands of people and they're all very good and doing what they're told to do. They're not very good at thinking it through to do it I'll themselves. You know? And makeshift will do. I get furious when someone fixes something by tying a piece of wire around it. No. Get a nut and bolt, drill a hole, screw it together properly so it will last and it will hang. Yeah? Yeah. Do it properly the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. Okay, we really okay. appreciate it. No